हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर आशा बख्शी फ्रॉम इंदौर वेलकम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन आंसर सीरीज टुडे आवर क्वेश्चन इज गोइंग टू बी टू डैशिंग डॉक्टर माला अरोरा डॉक्टर माला अरोरा इज अ वेरी वेल नोन फिगर इन द फील्ड ऑफ ऑप्सटेट्रिक्स एंड गायनिक शी इज डीप इन टू अकेडमिक्स एंड हैज बीन द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ फॉक्सी एंड द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ आई सी ओ जी एट द सेम टाइम शी हैज एडिटेड नंबर ऑफ बुक्स लाइक रेकरेंट प्रेगनेंसी लॉस फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर प्रेगनेंसी हाइपर होमोसिस्टीनीमिया एंड हैज़ बीन एडिटर ऑफ द ईयर बुक एंड ऑल्सो हैज़ बीन पेयर रिव्यूअर फॉर बी जे ओ जी एंड इंडियन जर्नल ऑफ ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन सो मैडम द क्वेश्चन टू यू इज वॉट इज़ द रोल ऑफ जेनेटिक डायग्नोसिस इन प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ कंसेप्शन एंड हाउ डू वी डू इट एंड हाउ डू वी इंटरप्रिट इट I wish to discuss the question that Asha has posed today is genetic testing of products of conception important So let me start by pointing out that spontaneous fetal aneuploidy is a very common cause for spontaneous loss and also for recurrent miscarriages It is important that we test the products of conception of second or more miscarriages for some kind of genetic test the genetic tests that were available to you are karyotyping chromosomal microarray and next generation sequencing as well as the fluorescent in situ hybridization which test should you choose because these tests are expensive a lot of evidence now points to the fact that karyotyping of products of conception is not a good test because it requires viable chorionic tissue to give us a good result it has a high rate of maternal cell contamination which gives a falsely normal result and <clears throat> it is not looking at smaller defects uh, of chromosomes So the test that you should be ordering now for products of conception is called the CGH microarray. The CGH microarray can be done on non-viable tissue which means even if the tissue has been sitting as a missed abortion for many weeks you can do the test. The contamination with bacteria, fungal or any other parasite does not interfere with the genetic testing. there is a zero incidence of maternal cell contamination and we can look at not just chromosomes but also smaller defects like single gene defects so the cgh microarray is the preferred test on products of conception it is available by most genetic labs but not the routine path labs and the test that is coming to you in the future is called the next generation sequencing this test is not currently widely available because the number of machines in our country is very few but this is the test that will give you even diagnosis of single nucleotide polymorphism single gene defects and we look forward to having next generation sequencing more widely available in patients who do not afford any of these because these are expensive tests you may do a fish test and the fish test is looking at 5 or 7 chromosomes so it is really a very crude way of assessing the products of conception when should you do the parental karyotyping and the ashray guidelines clearly states that if the products of conception show a genetic problem that is when you should look at the parental karyotype to see if they are carrying a balanced or robertsonian translocation and the third way that you can do a genetic testing is to look for sperm dna fragmentation because that is an indirect way of seeing if the sperm is carrying chromosomal defects in the embryo so it is so important that we do look for genetic causes of miscarriage we do a cgh microarray on products of conception of the second or more miscarriage and we look for parental karyotyping defects if there are abnormal products of conception thank you very much mm-hmm.